So next is uh, Mr. Hobby, uh, Mr. Color 181. This is semi gloss, super clear. So um, yeah, semi gloss on the Macross Valkyrie. Okay, so let's do some assembly work here. Francisco. I guess it kind of snaps in, like so, maybe, there we go, that looks nice, these are real kind of tiny pieces, I should congratulate myself for not losing them, so it is the end of November and I started this build back in early April, and I've uh, just been slowly doing this um, as as time goes by. So now this these are identical these these two parts here. So the long part sticks out. There we go. Lovely. Now. <laughs> there's, there's a guy I kind of know. Um, he's from England, and he always says, "Oh, lovely, it's it's lovely." And uh, his wife was like, "So you're an American, right? Does uh, does my does my husband sound kind of gay when he says that?" <laughs> That's funny. Okay, now how does this go? The instructions. Oh, I know it's a sticker. I'm looking at the wrong piece. How do these dumb things go? Hmm. I'll just look at the picture, I guess. Okay. Alright, so this uh, fits onto here like so. Alright, you know, I'm probably going to glue this crap. I'll probably do this. There we go. Ah, no. What the hell? Oh, there, hey, I got it upside down, that's why. Jerk bait. There we go. That's how it goes. nice cool and then the guns go how Nice.
Oh crap! Whew. Oh, I think I found it. Thank God. This little sucker went flying. I hate that when that happens. It's one good thing about living in Japan is that uh, they don't have like shag carpet. You know, this room in in my uh, my my hobby room is just a uh, it's just a, a, a flat, cold floor. It's not it's not wood, but it's kind of like a some sort of like a vinyl fake wood or something rather. I don't get it, but um, there we go. Finally got that pesky piece into place here. That's annoying, but it's finally in place. So the next step is to use the black paneline accent color. So I gave this a uh, semi-gloss coat, clear coat, so these panel lines should be fairly easy. I think that this works better on a semi-gloss rather than a pure gloss, but um, I don't know. There we go. I'll check that out. The lines are just filling automatically. That's great. There we go. Looks nice. The bottle's getting kind of crusty. I should do something about that. So I just have to remove the excess with enamel thinner. So I'll just go ahead and do the whole airplane and show you what it's like afterwards. Okay, what I'm doing next is peeling off these stickers here and applying them to the model. So a lot of these stickers I don't really need because I was able to replicate them with painting and with mixed results, I should say. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so like this here, for example, I'll need to apply the whole decal here. It says nuns. I don't know what that's about, but let me uh, make sure this goes on well. There. Oh, shoot. There, it's supposed to wrap around there and fit over the little groove here. There we go. That fits in there. There. There we go. Now, the stripes on the wings here, I can do without, but what I'm going to do is just cut these emblems off here and apply only these to the wings. 
And actually what I'm going to do is probably be better if I cut a little bit more closely to the pattern. There we go. That should help it make it look nicer. Oops, you didn't see that, did you? Sorry. I'll just, uh, just cut this along here. And I lift up. And I got this. There. I suppose I should probably do it. There we go. So we got these two emblems here on the wings. Yay. So I can put this into place like so. And then the canopy fits right on. There. Cool, huh? So, now all that is left is to insert the gun pod. Put this into place. And there are three... One, two, three, there's three holes this goes into to secure it. There, which is really good, actually, because uh, you know, if the stand is going to be slid into where the gun pod is, and then uh, you don't have to worry about the, you know, the, the gun pad falling off or whatever. So, and if you don't want to use the stand, you have the little piece, and apparently I've, I've lost that already, but it's okay, I don't plan to making it stand alone. So, this is the stand here, and I'm finished... So, here we go, finally. Um, it is December, and I started working on this in April, when this was given to me by uh, a guy I know. So, um, this has been um, been on just ba the back burner. It hasn't been a major build. I haven't really been focusing on it very much. just been kind of uh, coming and going with this project for a while now. So I think the white kind of looks nicer than if I had used the decal. You know, it's not perfect, but you know, it seems more I don't know, natural, organic, whatever the word you want to use. And uh it yes, yeah, I I, th I think it looks nicer than using a sticker, especially cuz there's not enough stickers to go around like on the back uh on on the, the underside here. So we got these decals into place here, these stickers. Nuns. I, I don't know what that's about. So, anyhow, um, beyond that, you know, I guess I could probably get in here and paint in, inside here. Maybe I should do that now. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, so I'm using this uh, accretion, burnt iron. And I'm just going to hopefully kind of carefully get in the crack here and get this all painted inside here. Considering how this is just a big crack, it's kind of be fairly difficult to get in here. But I'll see what I can do. Uh, it's a little bit narrow. Kind of difficult. So the bottom is okay to paint, but just on the ends, the, the sides here, the the sides going in here, it's, it's kind of difficult. Hmm. Well, I'll see what I can do. Maybe I need longer bristles on the paintbrush. I'll see what I can find in another paintbrush. Alright, so I was able to kind of paint in there, kind of cram the paint down in there. It's not perfect, but, you know, what I can do is um, put the lid back on this jar of paint. 
Uh, what I would like to do next is just get a fine tipped cotton swab and use some accretion solvent. And since I used lacquer on the main body color, it should have no pro. Oh crap! I just lost. <laughs> I lost it in there. Oh no! How can I get it out? I just lost my Q-tip. I dropped it into the into the thingy here, uh, the jar. Okay, here we go. Yikes! Well, I got plenty of paint thinner on there. All right. So what I'm gonna do? Just uh, take off the excess with the cotton swab. Just rub it off. So, yeah, I'll get back to you on this. It's going to take a while. Okay, it's looking better. It's uh, doing okay, I guess, in the back. There's not much you can do with that. It's, um, you know, it is what it is. So, well, there you have it. This is the Macross, the, the second in the series, I believe. Yeah, this is number two. The VF-171 Nightmare Plus. This has been... Somewhat of a decent build, I, I, I guess, and it's been fun just coming back and to it every once in a while. So there's not much you can do with it because of the the, the stickers, and actually there's, you could probably do more with this one because of the the panel lines. There's a, a lot more you can do uh, with avoiding the the stickers, and you know, like what I did here, just to cutting off um, only the, the parts of the stickers that are really necessary. However, something like this though, I've already looked at this one here. There's, you're just going to be stuck with the stickers and unfortunately the stickers are inadequate on the underside of this one as well. Um, unfortunately, they kind of uh, skimp out on that detail. I don't know, it's weird. So there are some like these here, there, these are stickers for the underside, but for the most part, they don't really include the the proper uh, stickers. So if you're going to go stickers, you know, go all the way. But it, it just seems kind of half-assed to only have uh, stickers that cover the the top of it and not the bottom. Anyhow, um, it would be kind of interesting to check out the the uh, uh, the Ultraman. Mecha collection kits to see how those are with the, the water slide decals. Those might be kind of cool to, to play around with, see what those are like. But um, unfortunately, also the Star Wars ones just come with stickers. At least with Star Wars, there's not a whole lot of different markings and such on there, so maybe you can um, just mask them off and, and paint the, deta the, the details that way, I suppose. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. And uh, nothing else to really say. It's just a, kind of a fun little build and nothing more than that. Uh, 172 scale of this specific one would be pretty awesome, I think. Now, recently, the what Hasegawa came out with a 172 scale of the Draken 3. That is what I'm looking forward to, much more than the Transformer Bowl gimmicky one with Bandai. I'd rather have a non-transforming one. So that's just my experience. I prefer non-transforming models myself. So, thanks for watching. That's it. Bye.